Hi, today I want to give a quick tutorial um, about improving your DJ or live set um, by synchronizing the finger baseline application from the iPhone uh, with your uh, favorite DJ application, for example, Ableton Live or Tractor DJ Studio. And how to achieve this? I want to show you. Uh, first, of course, you have to connect um, the iPhone by RCA cable here with the mixer. I put it in, in the left channel here. This is the inside of the left channel. And um, my Ableton Live, the sound card, I connected with my computer and Ableton Live. And out of the sound card in the right channel of my mixer. Um, to start and stop my Ableton, I'm using the MIDI function of that mixer. As you see, I can start and stop. To achieve this, I just connect it by USB cable going out here to my computer. So that the mixer can communicate with the sequencer. But it's just for start and stopping. Um, you can do this with, um, of course, every every um, uh, MIDI controller. So we just connected the two audio um, channels and uh, um, MIDI uh, for starting and controlling Ableton Live. And now we have to connect um, the iPhone with, um, of course, also with the computer <coughs> that the iPhone can communicate with Ableton to synchronize. Um, to achieve this, uh, you have you first have to build up an ad hoc network connection. It's pretty pretty easy here. You just just go to that menu. It says network and give a name. For example, I don't know. Let's say test. And yeah, of course you can set a password, but maybe in the club it's better. But here. We leave it out, so test. Okay, and now this is, this is done. And now uh, we have to connect um, the iPhone via Wi Fi to that network. Uh, we have to go on that one. So let's check out Wi Fi. And here it is, the test. Okay. Perfect. Now the iPhone is connected to the computer. And of course, you have to start the finger bass line, which you can download in the App Store. So let's start this. Um, the thing is to communicate. Um, with the, both devices, you have to download uh, the MIDI broadcast. This is a small program you can download from the website. Um, it's called MIDI Broadcast. Um, you have to tell the destination IP address, which is 169.254.255.255. So, okay, let's start Ableton again. And of course, you have to do some preference in Ableton as well. Um, you have to say in the MIDI, in the MIDI part, you have to say um, one input is from the PMC, is from the Vestax, it's just the the MIDI, um, um, the MIDI for start and stop, and the other one here is the MIDI broadcast virtual destination, and you have to turn to you have to turn that fields on to give. Um, yeah, the iPhone, the information about synchronizing and yeah, controlling. So, and yeah, put a track in and that should work. Yeah, you have to start um, the application. And the finger, finger bass line is kind of TB3 clone, um, which is really good sounding um, bass line, good for bass lines. You can manipulate the frequency, envelope, things like that. But the goal is uh, to synchronize it with your sequencer that you can play 
during your live set or your DJ set some bass lines, for example. Uh, yeah, and um, to achieve that, we did all these uh, connections. For example, I lower the speed here to 80 BPM now, but as soon as I start, Ableton will send a MIDI clock signal to the bass line and they should start simultaneously in sync. Also, if I change the speed during the set, the bass line would follow the tempo. <laughs> When I press the button here, it starts again. That's it, check it out.